Hello and welcome to another edition of TCI Behind the Scenes with your host Yasmin Ricky Blues. And today we're on the beautiful Grace Bay Beach, right out front of Alexandria Hotel, which is playing host to this year's film festival again. And we got to have a chat with one of the organizers, Jasmine Guy. Okay, and I'd like to welcome you, Jasmine and Guy, the famous, to TCI again, yes. our beautiful TCI. And I know this isn't your first time. Last time you were here, uh, you went to Grand Turk, our nation's yes. capital. How was that? It was fabulous. You know, I have been here and, and of course, love Provo. Mm -hmm. But Grand Turk was like going to another country. It's so different. And um, I love the architecture. And we, uh, David Bowen took me where okay. he's from. So yeah. I got to see where he grew up in the neighborhoods and where the salt mines were. He gave me a, a fantastic history lesson of the island. And, and things started to make sense. But then I realized how each island has its own flavor. Yes. You know? Oh, yeah. And I, I've only... I need to go to South Turk again. I was there for just a, like a day, you know, okay. but I'd like to spend more time in Grand Turk as well. Okay. I mean, my, my goal in, ex, in expanding the film festival is to incorporate more of the other islands as well, you know. And this year, for Youth Arts Day, we are having children from the other islands coming as well, oh. from Grand Turk and South Turk. Wow. Yes. Okay. Now, this is your second time doing the film festival here. How was it last year? Last year was um, exciting and scary and, um, you know, where your expectations are a certain thing and you, you don't know if you're reaching them or not until someone else can tell you, yes. you know. And because everyone had a wonderful time here last mm -hmm. year, we were not only able to um, introduce these fabulous movies to them, but the island as well. And, and people have returned since coming to the festival. From, you know, I never heard of Turks and Caicos or Turks and who, to that's where we go now, you know. Okay. People have been back two or three times since the festival. And I also loved that the way the festival is with, between the four hotels, it's, mm -hmm. it's People are close and they can network and talk. And so, you know, you'll be at the deck of the Alexandra and you can talk to a filmmaker and the filmmaker can talk to the audience people and get feedback. And so there's more interaction than at some of the bigger festivals I've been to. And tell me, after going through the cramps of the very first one, what would you like to change for this year's festival? This year, we've added another category to our films. We have short films this year. And um, these are films that are from 10 to 15 minutes long. And we've got great films. And so we're doing um, Shorts on the Beach. Okay, get it? All right, Shorts on the Beach. Uh, we're doing, of course, the outdoor screen, of course, that was a big hit. And we've moved the indoor screens to the Palms. So uh, we'll be having all of our panels, the two panel discussions that we have on Thursday and Friday, and all of our daytime screenings inside the Palms. And that's nice, you know, air conditioned and, and chilled and beautiful. Um, because the filmmakers want to know that their movies are being seen with top-notch equipment and top-notch sound equipment. So everything is in there ready to go. We're adding um, another two honorees. We have um, our director award is going to Manny Ratnam, who is an Indian director, and we're featuring his mo movie Guru mm -hmm. on Wednesday. It's a Bollywood movie. Okay. Have you ever yeah. seen one? No. This was my first one. Okay. It's fabulous. All right. It, they break out into a musical number no matter what's going on. Okay. And it's just... <laughs> The production and the beauty and the celebration, and that will be on the big screen here as well. So we, we're honoring Manny Ratnam for uh, music. We're honoring Mark Shaman, who did Hairspray and like 50 other big movies, First Wives Club and Misery. And um, for our, we're having a Rising Star Award for the Young Starlets of Hollywood. And this year we're honoring Amanda Bynes. Okay. And um, my kids, you know, gave me all her credits because okay. I was like. <laughs> but then our Tour de Force Award for the performer that encompasses everything, music, cinema, and in his case, poetry is most deaf. Okay. And he'll be down as well. So I'm very excited about our honorees this year. Okay. And then, of course, the six awards that go to 
the jury nom um, award winning TCI FF award winners. Okay. So, well, we've gone through what we'd like to change, but we haven't said what it is that we're all about. So tell me about the film festival. How many films, uh, even why? Why the film festival? Well, good question. The film festival is about exposing new and innovative movies that haven't been heard yet, that don't have distribution yet, that haven't traveled the world yet in all the theaters. And it gives filmmakers a first time shot. Also, we're celebrating um, movies that are about music. So they're all tied to music in some way. So we have some phenomenal documentaries, we have some great soundtracks to explore, and of course, because I like everything, I needed to put music in with the movies. Okay. So we, we have um, the story of the Stax Record Company, which is the record company of Otis Redding and Isaac Hayes. Mm -hmm. We have Sweet Honey in the Rock a documentary. We have a story of Lelo Guerrero, who was a Chicano um, band leader for 50 years. Mm -hmm. um, every music story becomes very political, I, I learned as I watched these movies. Mm -hmm. War Dance is a Ugandan movie about Ugandan refugee children from the war that compete in a dance competition. Okay. and win Ooh. but it's their journey yeah. and how they've been ostracized so of course there's a universal story to all of our films you know yes. and i think that it, and that's again youth arts day i can't wait that's the movie we're going to show the kids the because, ugandan yes okay they were so they're so bright you know last year the questions that they asked um kazi from the hip-hop project mm -hmm. i was so impressed with it wasn't like you know, what's Bruce Willis like? Or have you met <laughs> Queen Latifah? They really watched the movie. They really understood it. And I want them to really understand short films, long feature films, documentary. There's a filmmaker here in Turks and Caicos, you know, yes. and we need to plant these seeds. Yes. And um, also for us, we learn from them. We learn from the questions that the young people ask, mm -hmm. you know, we learn because it's pure. Yes. And um, that was one of my favorite moments. But then, of course, there's parties every night after the beach screening. But before you go there, talking about movies, there's one I really can't wait to see. And, I, and um, I'm not sure if it's a documentary or a short shorts. Hector Laveau. Yes. Um, that will be, I forgot what day was showing that. It's, a, it's long. It's a long okay. feature. And um, again, the stories are incredible, the lives. I didn't, I didn't know. You know, I know a little bit about some of the movies. Some people, some of the people I didn't know anything about. Um, that was one. one. Okay. That was one I really learned a lot from, uh, you know. Um, and we have, I think, five or six Caribbean films this okay. year. Oh. So, and this, and the, um, the father of reggae, mm. who was a jazz guitarist. You know, okay. I didn't know that there was a serious jazz influence on reggae, for example. Mm. And these old, you know, musicians that are still alive and still playing in Jamaica, they tell their story about how the different rhythms came into their music. Okay. Where we come from, yes. you know? Oh, yes. And so now we've got feature films. We've got, tell me, why Turks and Caicos? Your premier has a vision for his country. And he asked me to bring a film festival to the island because he wants to make this the can of the Caribbean. He wants this to be uh, luxurious and, and rich and great and be known for its art and its culture. Okay. And this is, I think, one of the many things he's doing with the island, the music festival, the gospel festival. It seems to be a lot of entertainment happening down here on the island now and in some ways it, it puts the country on the map but it also i mean because i'm an artist i always have a hidden agenda to to service the artist as well and the artist of the island you know and um i want to be able to explore filmmaking and bring filmmaking down to the island as well i think it's a beautiful location i think it can be a hub as a, you know, it's, everything doesn't have to happen in Jamaica and, and NASA, you know, we can come to Turks and Caicos too. 
What got you interested? What got you to say yes? I saw in, in um, the premier's vision a possibility to put together everything that I've learned over you know, the 20 to 30 years I've been dancing and singing and acting and hustling. And to, I was, I was asking, you know, I said, I, I know I'm having a change in my life. I'm getting older, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do with the information I have. And I saw this as a way to use that information to call on friends that I've had forever that are gifted and talented and say, come down and be on a panel and talk to us and, and share your experiences with us. And when you're in Hollywood, you're not, uh, how can I say this? Everyone takes for granted everyone's talents because everyone's talented. Yes. And you forget that you've been given something from God to share with others. And it's not to be kept in, in your house, in your apartment. Um, so if I wasn't going to be acting or performing or on television or on Broadway, I just said, so what am I supposed to do? And I think this was what I was supposed to do. And I see that you're enjoying every moment of it. Yes, I am. And you bring quite a team with you. And last year, we saw people like Donnie McClurkin coming and um, parents of Left Eye, Lisa Left Eye yes. Lopez. Who's coming this year? This year we have Michael Clark Duncan, who you might remember from the movie The Green Mile. Yeah. And, um, and many other movies, but that's, that's, he won my heart in that movie. Mm. Um, Kimberly Elise from uh, Diary of a Mad Black Woman and, um, and of course others. Uh, Gabrielle Union, mm. um, Essence Atkins. She's on a show, but I'm not sure if the show is, is down here. It was half and half. Okay. She was one of the actors in that, but you'll recognize her when you see her. Amanda Bynes, as I said, most deaf will be down. Um, I think they're coming down on uh, Wednesday or Thursday. Okay, who else are my people? My people, John Singleton, the director okay. from Shaft and Boys in the Hood and Rosewood. Um, Donnie wanted to come back. He Aww. had such a good time. <laughs> <laughs> and we would have welcomed him back, of course. <laughs> he was touring during this week, but I saw him at a Barack Obama fundraiser. Okay. And he said, when are we going back to Turks and Caicos? You know? <laughs> and he was, that was interesting because um, we premiered his movie, and he hadn't seen it before himself. And he was so moved by his story because other people were talking about him that he didn't know about. And then he stayed for like four or five days after. He was supposed to leave the next day and I kept running into him, you know, <laughs> at other screenings. And he said, no, this is fabulous. And you know, most of us, I think, love cinema and music. Yes. And yes. so to watch the two, we have a panel on Friday that's just about how all of the creative aspects collaborate. How the director talks to the choreographer and the composer works with the, the screenplay artist. Because movies like Dreamgirls that um, are so seamlessly edited, everyone, that means everyone had to work together. Somebody didn't just chop the scenes together, you know. Um, uh, James Thunder Early or Eddie Murphy didn't just turn from this scene and turn into him becoming a big concert. Somebody had to, and I want to I wanna hear that. I want to hear how that happened and how the music, and Spike Lee is great with this too. He uses music to emotionally motivate, you know. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I think he must not trust the actor to do this because <laughs> the music is swelling yes. in such a way that you're going to go there anyway.